when you hire somebody and they're a problem, they're an issue, right? There's constantly something going on in their life that's that's impacting their work life and you let it go, right? And and, and I've done that so often and, and I've been burned so many times. It at one point made me pretty cynical. Tip one is if there's a problem, get rid of them immediately because they're going to continue to be a problem. No, you know, second chances are okay. Right. For tardiness, for things like that, but not stealing, not lying, not, you know, saying you're working. And then I roll up and you're parked, you know, at the back of the apartment community, smoking weed with the the maintenance guy. Right. Those are not things that are okay. Those are things that I should not have allowed to happen. Those are things that we should have, you know, just moved on. But I was hiring out of desperation. And like you said, downtime. So I'm like, okay, well, like, Okay, just don't smoke so much weed. <laughs> but we're giving away a Ford Ranger next month to a premium or platinum subscriber of Quote IQ. So if you need help keeping track of customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments, check out Quote IQ linked in the comment section and the description of this video. Now I've got like a zero tolerance policy on all bullshit, right? Like zero tolerance. Um, everybody gets a chance. And after that, like these guys, they, they've got a good thing going and I want them to continue to have a good thing going. Uh, and a good thing going means they're being productive. They're being efficient. They're making me money. They're showing it up. I don't have to babysit. I'm not a babysitter. I used to be a babysitter. I made a commitment to myself about three years ago that I am no longer being a babysitter, right? I, I am eliminating all stress from my life. And that's one of the reasons I sold my landscape business because I was done being a babysitter. You, you made a good reference to, you know, if they're a problem early, then usually you just need to cut them because they're going yeah. to continue to be and a problem. So I, I had a guy that was always an issue. He was a good worker, right? He did a good job. And so that, that was the rub, right? It's like, okay, what's that balance, right? It's like that close ratio balance. What's the balance? And um, uh, finally, I figured out the balance and it was, uh, he had to leave and it was, it was not a good thing. But I let him come back multiple times, right? Like I'd be desperate and I'd call him and, and he'd come back, right? So that's on me and I take full responsibility. But, you know, I, 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 I gave a loan for a vehicle one time to a, an employee, to an employee. Um, I had a vehicle he needed when he couldn't get back, back and you know, forth from work. Um, he couldn't get a loan at a bank. And I said, okay, I've got this truck. Um, you know, I'll take it out of your paycheck. You know, it, I didn't charge interest. It was just, you know, just basically he was going to pay off the truck. And I think I gave him like three or four years or something like that. And it wasn't, an, it was not an expensive truck. And um, he got hammered drove this truck down a dirt road, flipped it like three times. He got messed up, you know, fortunately not like he was just cut up and whatnot. The, the, the truck was just mauled. I wish I had pictures to share, but it was, it was a complete disaster. Um, and you know, after he was up and moving again, I was like, okay, well, you know, you realize you still have to pay this truck off. And he was like, what? I got to pay it off. And I'm like, well, yeah, you know, it was, it was yours. And he goes, but I can't drive it anymore. He goes, I need, I need the insurance money so I can uh, buy a new truck. And I was like, well, that's not how it works. And so he ended up, you know, and, and of course I worked with him and he was able to continue to pay out of his, you know, his paycheck um, for some of it. But yeah, so that was one. He's also one that had, you know, stolen a bunch of equipment, tried to sell some of my lawn care equipment um, and, you know, got busted because he was wearing a company shirt, things like that. And, and, and that was the final straw. And I was like, okay, obviously, you know, this is not so a there good. had been like previous malfeasances. This wasn't the first time that an issue had arisen. But it was, it was every single day there was, there was something. And it, and it was like, I, I was spending more time dealing with employee issues than I was running my business. And, and that can have such an impact, right? 